Hi guys, before we start this video, I just wanted to hop on quickly to welcome you to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Rose. I'm based out of Northern Ontario, Canada, and I'm thrilled to be able to share my passion for enduro with such a broad audience here on YouTube. Before I go over some of the events I attended in 2022, I also want to remind you that I'm on Instagram, so if you hang out there, come say hi. Now let's dive into last year's shenanigans. Enjoy. It's January as I'm editing this footage from the Rockhound Rally. This event, which is hosted by Rally Connects, occurred back in August at the very peak of summer. I'm just blown away by how quickly 2022 flew by. We had a crazy busy season and managed to rack up almost 90 hours on our Shurkos before we had to put them away right after the Narden Hard Enduro race. Our season ended early as Jeremy struggled with a bad case of exhaustion right after Narden, and not long after, we both ended up with a cold, which lingered until Christmas. We may have slightly overdone things. As they say, what goes up must come down. Thankfully, we are both feeling better now and anxiously waiting for sledding season to start. As much as I'm a diehard enduro rider, I freaking love a solid shred session on my trusty mountain sled. Since we're watching footage from the Rockhound Rally, I'll drop the link to another video I made called Water Under the Bridge in the description below. If you haven't watched it already and you're curious to see what a gold or expert line looks like at this event, this video is a great place to start. Water Under the Bridge is considered a mandatory gold class challenge. Basically, the Rockhound Rally consists of many challenges ranging from easy to very hard. You can choose between four levels of difficulty, iron, bronze, silver, and gold classes. This year, we opted for the gold class and we were not disappointed. There were plenty of gnarly lines and challenges to choose from. This is a non-competitive GPS-guided event held in the Karwartha and Madawaska Highlands. At the time this video is uploaded, Rally Connects have already announced some dates for 2023, and I believe registration for this particular event is now open. I'll make sure to post a link to their website in the description. You'll find all the info there and more. Oh. <laughs> 
Another event we thoroughly enjoyed was OVR5, hosted by a group of riders called Valley Rally Enduro. OVR5 is also a non-competitive GPS-guided event held in the Madawaska Valley region. What's unique about this event is that it's based out of Sunny Hill Resort. Riders can opt to stay in a cabin right on the resort or rent a lot for a camper or RV. For those who prefer a more traditional camping experience, they also offer wooded tent sites. What's most impressive about this resort is their beautiful beach and waterfront scenery. In terms of riding, you basically get three days of GPS tracks. The terrain is quite challenging and not for the faint of heart. If you're curious about this event, check out my two videos titled Carl's Appetizer and FML Hill Sunday Carnage. I'll make sure to drop all the links to these as well as the event and resort pages in the description below. Registration for OVR6 is currently open. Another cool thing I want to mention here is that the Valley Rally Enduro crew have a podcast called In the Cave where interesting moto conversations are had with some pretty rad people. I use Spotify to stream it, however, you can most likely find it on several other streaming platforms. Definitely check that out when you get a chance. Our biggest event this year was the infamous Corduroy Enduro. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of the race itself as I didn't want to fuss around with the GoPro. I wanted to focus 100% of my energy on the race and it paid off. I earned my finisher's medal in the women's pro class. This remains my biggest accomplishment to date and is a huge milestone in my healing journey. I'll likely elaborate more on my story in a future video. My husband, Jeremy, who has been my biggest supporter throughout all of this, also earned his finisher's medal in the Intermediate A class. We both got through over 300 kilometers of transits and tests, which included rocky sections, gnarly hill climbs, deep water holes, lots of logs and roots. We managed to finish without any mechanical hiccups or serious injuries. My body was definitely hurting after two days of relentless riding. The Corduroy Enduro is based out of Goodrum, Ontario and spans across the highlands of Halliburton. This event is no joke and definitely earns its title as Canada's toughest race due to its duration and demanding rugged, relentless terrain. Looking forward to challenging myself again this year and improve my times. Last but not least, we attempted the Narden Hard Enduro Race, which occurred only a few weeks after the Corduroy. This one was a doozy. We were still not fully recovered from the Corduroy, and the terrain was really gnarly. 
I managed to get a little bit of GoPro footage before I had to resort to survival mode. <laughs> Just to put things into context here, it took me about three hours to get through one eight kilometer lap in the silver class and I was completely done after just one lap. I ended up wasting a lot of time in a few spots, mostly due to hesitation. On several occasions, I sat back and watched other riders struggle through sections before attempting them myself. I was way out of my comfort zone as I typically ride conditions like these with my husband sweeping behind or available for assistance. Racing hard enduro is a whole different ball game. Things got even stickier halfway through the course when it started raining. All my weak points were at the forefront and even left me crippled in many spots during the race. However, I still made it past the one lap mark within the four hour time limit. This was a massive learning experience and I definitely need to work on riding more aggressively and hesitating less. This was my 2022 season in a nutshell. I know I haven't been as active on here these days. I promise that I'll be back full swing with more videos. Uh, one of my goals for this channel is to refine the quality of my footage and my videos. Right now I'm just catching my breath, resting and recalibrating myself for another season ahead. I promise I'll be back with more so stay tuned.